you brought up the word respect and honor. So what does that really mean to men? And ladies, lean in and hear this. Lean in and hear yeah. Yeah, so we speak different languages, right? Uh, brothers and sisters speak different languages. Brothers speak respect and honor language. Women speak love and compassion language. So when a sister thinks she's loving her dude, she thinks she's loving her dude because she's giving him what she has. And what she has is a sense of love and compassion. So whether it's a mom and her son, whether it's a, uh, a wife toward her husband, uh, ladies ultimately give what is inherently in them to be able to give. It is a different language, though, because we don't, I, I, I'm going to say something shocking. We don't really care whether y'all love us. <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we really don't. We, we don't care whether you love us. We care that you respect us. There was a, there was a poll that was done a couple of years ago, where it says 77% of the men polled were asked, or 100% of the men polled were asked this question. If you had a choice between feeling unloved or feeling inadequate and disrespected, which one would you choose? 77% of men, not 76, 77% of men said, I would rather feel unloved. I need you to respect me. So a part of what happens in relationships is women are frustrated because they're saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. Men are saying, yeah, I know, but that's not what I need. I need honor, I need respect, I need to feel like king, right? And, and so we are not seeing that by and large because we live in a society that suggests uh, that if a man is treated like a king, if he's treated with respect and honor, then a woman has to then be subservient, be walked over, walked on. And it's not that at all. It's just a different language that brothers have to be able to receive from. Okay, so there's a different language that um, the women need to speak in order for the man to be heard. And so how deep is that? Yeah. How, how, yeah, it is, it's, it's incredibly deep. I mean, if everyone that is watching this, right, if they would be able to embrace the fact that their relationships are in trouble and their relationships are in trouble, it's not the marriage that is bad. It's not the relationship that is bad. It's the individuals in the marriage and in the relationship that don't know how to relate, right? Isn't it amazing that we talk about relationships all the time and forget that the root word of relationship is being able to relate? And that means that I've got to have a fundamental understanding of the one that I'm in relationship with. And the one I'm in relationship with has to have a fundamental understanding of who I am. So it is so deeply embedded in us. We are seeing men die in urban communities for respect. What is happening in urban communities, a black man killing another black man, which by the way, I think is corny. I think it's corny and cowardice for a black man to kill another black man, right? But all that he's after is this sense of respect. It ain't about drugs. It ain't about any of that. It's a sense of respect. There's something that happens in the core of who we are that feels violated when a brother doesn't feel respected. And so if there was something that I would really suggest that every sister learn, and there's a science to this, right, that we'll get into during the our time together. Uh, there's a science to understanding how to respect him, how to get him to do anything you really want him to do. There, uh, T.D. Jake said it this way, Marshawn. T.D. Jake said, that dude said, uh, he said, you, you want that dude to take out the garbage? Tell that dude, ain't hey, look at your muscles while you taking out that garbage. Look, look at your pecs, right? While you taking out <laughs> that dude to take out the whole everybody's garbage in the neighborhood because he feels honored, he feels respected. And and when is the last time that we heard any language that was consistent with what men need? We live in a society that talks often about agape, unconditional love. But I got news for everybody listening. There is an unconditional respect that is the love language of every guy, that if he doesn't get it, if you try to make him earn it, if you say, well, I'll, be, I'll respect you when, when you do A, B, and C, he doesn't have that ability. He has to love you regardless. That's the way our society is set up. 
So our society isn't set up to respect men. Our society is set up to love women. And he feels invisible. His needs are invisible because the society isn't really set up to honor him. Why should men and women show up to our summit? Because you and I have the only keys. We have the keys necessary for them to have healthy relationships. And the truth of the matter is uh, we know what has to happen. And they, let me, let, me, let me say it this way. Some of them know what has to happen. They don't know how to do it. So while we're talking on here about the what has to take place, the respect factor, the love factor, the question naturally is how do I do it? Because I think what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. And really there's a, there's a how that is absent from the what that we are attempting to do. So every brother who is genuinely interested in having respect in his home, being respected in his home by his wife, by his kids, any brother who says, you know what? Uh, I wanna increase my sex life. I wanna break headboards, right? If, if you that dude who wants to make sure that your sex life is popping, uh, there's, there's a way to get that done but the way that you're trying to get it done ain't working, my guy, right? So, so there, there's a strategy uh, that, that is necessary and a degree of intelligence that has to be executed in order for you to get what you genuinely want. If you're a business owner and you don't know why your business ain't really functioning, then there's a, there's a reason why. And I want to show you how. It's the same thing for ladies. If you are trying to reach him and you can't reach him, you're tired of feeling unloved, like he doesn't love me, he don't know how. He, do, he doesn't know how, right? And so every brother wants to feel adequate. Everybody wants to, every brother wants to know how to do something. And the key to mastering this relationship thing, this family thing, long-term relationships, engagements, marriages, um, is coming to this uh, happy spouse, happy house uh, time summit that we're having together. And not just for marriages, but to your point, long-term relationships, engagements before, hey, listen, y'all, before you say I do, <laughs> say do I, <laughs> right? Do I really take on all of this that comes with marriage and relationship? We've really got to figure out uh, why these things are happening in our marriages and do something to correct it other than divorcing. 